Hey YouTube, I'm Manny. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're just going to do an update on my toolbox and all the new tools that I purchased. Uh, currently I'm not a full-time diesel technician anymore, so a lot of these tools haven't even been used yet, but I do plan on use, using them in the future, as well as they'll just be my future lifetime tools that I'm going to have in this uh, box. So stay tuned and uh, we'll, get to, we'll get to this. Uh, Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Uh, right now we're going to do an in-depth tour of my uh, monster tool cart here. Uh, up here, just got a magnet tray with some adapters, uh, keys to the box, uh, some uh, adapters for the impact driver that I usually keep up here, different sizes. Um, and then we'll go down here. I have uh, a magnet, a magnet holder here for my socket set up here is a 3 8 semi deep uh, socket set uh, from gear wrench you see it goes all the way up to 19 and then um, down here this is a blue point uh, 12 volt uh, 12 point set goes from uh, 10 to 20 but these uh, smaller spaces here I put the shallow sockets uh, because they were just empty so I just ended yeah, but these are in 12 point, these are just some 6 points that weren't being used at the moment. And as you can look down here, I have uh, some various uh, impact sockets. Uh, first of all, I have some USA made Ernest uh, socket rails. Uh, I've seen a lot of tool guys make reviews on these, so I ended up getting them as well. Back here are my half inch uh, gear wrench um, shallow impact. And these are uh, and these right here are my low profile uh, impact sockets made from Vorlux here. And uh, these are my uh, stubby sockets here, half inch. Uh, but these are metric. So this is SAE and this is metric. Um, if you look here, um, these are my cobalt uh, sockets here are you know made pretty much by Williams uh, on their USA made on there Let's see if I can get so and this is a SAE set three eighths uh, you can see the broaching on those sockets are pretty good uh, this set here are my Williams uh, USA made shallow uh, metric impact sockets and then these are Stubby impact sockets made by. Let me see. What are they made by? Uh, I can't remember. I think it was laser or something like that. They were made by. Um, and then down here, these are my um, snap on uh, half inch uh, semi deep metric impact sockets. Um, doesn't fit in the tray because this tray is meant for shallow impact sockets and the original uh, tray uh, ended up breaking which I do have still but I had a spare shallow uh, tray and it fits where everything fits in except this one so I just ended up leaving it like that um, this here quarter inch gear wrench uh, sockets here I have metric and SAE uh, this is a snap-on uh, ratchet. I believe this is a nine-inch, uh, quarter-inch ratchet. And then over here, I have obviously a snap-on quarter-inch ratchet, quick release with the grip, and a Williams 72 teeth, three-eighths ratchet, the very fine tooth. Um, you can see over here are some ratchets. Uh, and this 3 a flex uh, quick release uh, snap on ratchet here that I keep over here. Uh, this is an easy red, uh, extra long 3 a ratchet that I keep in there as well. And then these here, these Dominator pry bars are very good. Uh, you can see they've been used quite often. A lot of people don't know, but these are USA made as well very affordable, highly recommend them. Uh, 
Um, this is a half inch Easy Red. A uh, long ratchet, extra long, I believe. Locking flex. So keep that in there. And I also have a, a Williams. This is a heavy duty uh, industrial freaking Williams ratchet right here. Very beefy, very strong. Highly recommend that ratchet. Uh, what I also have are just some various pliers here. This is basically all uh, Mac tools. But what I added uh, to this set here is a proto uh, plier here. And you can see, you know, it's USA made plier there. Um, screwdriver, some channel lock. I uh, pretty much got these because of the striking cap that you can hit right there. And I use here these sockets here. Finish up this uh, half inch SAE gear wrench all the way up to one inch and a half. And, uh, you know, I have these. These are my kids' stuff up here that I just keep there, you know. And um, I have this, uh, what is it, Milwaukee driver and flathead striking cap. So that's pretty much covers the the top up, uh, and we'll uh, open up the drawers. All right, guys, now we're going to open up the first drawer here. Uh, and you can see I got some uh, swivel sockets here made by Cowhawk. Um, have tactile and adapter for the uh, for the impact driver. I also have uh, some quarter inch uh, impact shallow metric uh, sockets here that I keep here. Uh, this is also a Mac Tools that Allen socket set with some uh, Torx. Um, also have a Capri Tools, you know, wire stripper here, and this here is a little charger for my M18 batteries. Um, also have a uh, line tools uh, plier here. Uh, has the other little pins there as well. This is a USA made tool, as well as brake tool here, the brake spreader tool there. So that covers the top drawer, and we'll get into the next top drawer there. And here I have a um, Volvo uh, Milwaukee uh, new drill and uh, impact driver. Uh, I just got the boot protector the other day, so it lasts a little long. Um, also have a quarter inch snap-on impact and the quarter inch ratchet uh, the 14 volt for the snap on so this is what I have in my top and we'll get to the next drawer alright now we're going to get into the first drawer or the first big drawer at least uh, this is a Sunex extension locking extension set here uh, blow molded case keeps everything organized Titan uh, impact adapters and their swivels as well. If you extend them, they swivel out. Power built, um, low profile sockets here. These are 12 point set. This is also a power built socket set here. Uh, these are very similar to precision, precision torque sockets. Uh, these are universal power built sockets. Cheapo wobble extension set. This is a blue point locking extension quarter inch. This is um, snap on wobble plus socket set on a wobble plus extension quarter inch set here. This set here is also a Sunex wobble impact extension. And then here's a gear wrench socket set. The plus, the plus sockets, I guess, the, or the go-through sockets here, quarter inch set that I have. Have them if I need them. Don't really use them much, but that covers this drawer. This net is all wrenches, uh, gear wrench from six to twenty. The continuation set goes to thirty-two on my bottom drawer. 
This is a Milwaukee um, wrench set here, uh, the new ones. And you can see the, the flank drive on those. Uh, these are not extra long. These gear wrenches are longer than these Milwaukee's. But I have them. Uh, if you're a Honda guy, this is the set to go with. The snap on speed wrench set here. It goes from 10 to 19. And it has the ratcheting wrench at the end. And then I have these Tecton uh, uh, flex wrenches here, uh, 8 and 10, and 12 and 14. All right, and the next drawer is just the SAE. This is the gear wrench. Uh, wrench set goes from quarter inch to one inch. And these are all Mac tools, uh, adjustable wrenches. I have a Tecton flex uh, Ratcheting wrench set SAE. This here is a Proto double box and uh, USA made uh, wrench set here. These are. And these here uh, to complement my Milwaukee new uh, wrenches, I have the channel lock. And these have the same features as the Milwaukee's. These were just a little cheaper than the Milwaukee SAE versions. And I have my half inch uh, locking flex uh, snap on ratchet here. Only place that I could find that could fit. Just, uh, some picks, gear wrench picks, KD scraper, gear wrench scraper, Pittsburgh dead blow. This is a clutch ball pin hammer. Uh, LED light from Blue Point with a magnet and a spark plus service set here. And the last drawer. Box of gloves, uh, snap on the magnet, uh, Milwaukee half inch high torque impact, and the 3 8 impact over there. Team batteries, LED light, uh, ball pin hammers, uh, Harbor Freight, um, rubber mallet, and the down here is the, the gear wrench, uh, wrench set that goes all the way up to 32. Alright, guys, that covers my tour on my uh, monster tool part uh, if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, comment and subscribe if you're not a subscriber and uh, stay tuned for more videos on uh, any updated toolbox because you can see behind me uh, this uh, husky toolbox is over overdue for an updated uh, tour so uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, thanks for